Right, so we've got it up in the air now. Um, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the amount of sun clearance. I was a little bit worried when we dropped it down off those blocks how much clearance we were going to actually end up with. But it's pretty good to be fair. In fact, probably better than some of my other cars. So you can see underneath here, moving that clutch code out of the way, we've got adequate clearance right the way around diff housing on the back of the transmission, which is looking nice. Obviously, this is your original Peugeot mount here. I don't think we're going to be able to do a huge amount with that because it lines up right where that centre drive shaft carrier bearing is. So I think what we're probably going to wind up doing is moving something over to this side and picking up on those two original. That's where the original Honda uh, rear engine mount was, was, was bolted to the subframe there. So I think we'll just take this out of the way for a minute and we'll maybe bring that Honda mount down and high it up. We haven't got a lot of room here, so we might have to modify something. Right, okay, coming back to this transmission mount, it's the next day now. I've twiddled my thumbs and thought about it for a while. I had a few different ideas. I, for a minute, I was wondering about putting it up on top of the subframe. That's kind of more like where the Honda transmission mount was. Uh, there's a bit more room then, and it get, well, gives you a lot more room, actually. But the problem is then I'm going to be getting, well, intruding on where I want to put the exhaust and the screen pipe and stuff later on and just generally putting it in an area that's an absolute nightmare to get to. So I've kind of gone against that idea again now. So what I think I'm gonna do is you've got the original PSA lower mount that would normally mount on the subframe on this side. I've reversed it, so that would normally be the subframe side. I'm gonna make up some plates that bolt, well, sorry, some plates will be welded to this outer mount. This mount is pressed into the steel, steel casing here. Um, so I'm probably going to have a piece of flat, this is just temporary holding it in position at the moment, that will come back and bolt to the subframe. I'll have this bolt on and off, I think, so that you can easily take it off and change that mount for something else. Otherwise, it could be a bit of a nightmare to work on. There'll be another uh, bolt hole at the top here. I have to weld a flange on the top to pick it up. So, so that round part will be bolted to the subframe. Then you'll have the intermediate arm and then we're going to make something up to pick up this mount on the transmission. So we've got the two big bolts at the back there and we've got one bell housing bolt there. I'm planning on trying to pick all three of them up to give it some, to give it plenty of strength. So we're just going to, I've just started cutting out the first piece, which is going to pick up those two uh, bolts on the back of the, off, off the back of the diff housing. See, I've got a second hole in there. Um, I'm just going to slim this down slightly. This is going to droop down underneath the transmission and that'll be our first point to work from for making up the rest of the mount. Right, so I just started welding together the first few pieces. 
This is the piece that's going to bolt up against the transmission. That will carry the bottom of the mount. And then we'll have a second one of those on the other side, something like that. Plate it in and then come off the top to pick up that bell housing bolt. So we've got that bolted up now. Uh, the mount is in. So I'm just figuring out how we're going to bolt the actual mount to the subframe. So I'm going to weld, weld that outer bush support to that plate there. The plate then picks up three bolt holes in the subframe. And then we'll have to make something up in the top. But I'll have to pull the engine out again to be able to get to that. And cut that gear tower off while we're on. You can see we're picking up those two original diff housing bolts there. And we've also just picked up the rear bow housing bolt, which you might be able to see or might not. I'll show you on the engines out a bit better. So I'm going to weld this now while we've got it in position or tack it a bit better. And then we'll take the whole lot out and weld it up. Right, now that we've got the engine out, we can get down to the subframe a bit better here. I'm going to cut this gear turret off completely because this is for the linkages on the Peugeot box. Uh, the Honda transmission is cable shift, so we don't need any of that. So I've pulled the engine out now just so we can sort out the top of that lower mount. See there's a factory bracket on the top of that that I've left on there because it kind of worked out perfectly for a top bolt. So I've just cut a little piece of plate out. And I'm just going to tack weld that now while it's all bolted in position. Then we'll unbolt the mount, weld that fully, put a splash of paint on it. And that's all for the engine mounts tied up. So then we can start moving on to the next project, which is probably going to be measuring up for the drive shafts. Right, we've welded that on there now. I'll just put a splash of paint on it to stop it going rusty. And then we can hopefully drop the engine back in on all three mounts and it should be sat exactly where we want it. 